Fred Kelly here, your nerd sidekick. This is a short video where I'm going to show you how to fix your USB flash drive like this one that has mysteriously lost some of its capacity. And fixing this will not require typing strange things into a command prompt like you may have seen in other videos. This just requires a few simple clicks in Windows. So what causes this loss of capacity? This USB drive is one I used to install Windows on this computer in my deep dive video on how to build a PC. And you can see right here on the label, this is a 256 gigabyte drive. But if I plug this into my computer and go to File Explorer, and then there's the flash drive right there, I'll right click on that and click Properties. And you can see the capacity here shows as, instead of 256, it shows as 31.9, essentially 32 gigabytes. So what happened to the 256 gigabytes? Well, this is a common problem that people run into when installing the Windows operating system. There are other causes, but my guess is this is the biggest culprit. Microsoft has what they call the Media Creation Tool, and this program automatically formats a USB drive like this one and then it downloads and copies to that drive the files necessary to install a new copy of Windows on another computer. The problem is that when the drive is formatted, the maximum partition size created is just 32 gigabytes. So any space above that 32 gigabyte limit is left unused, unformatted, and essentially unusable unless you know how to fix it. Fortunately, fixing it is simple, so let's do that now. If you have ever formatted a drive in the past, you might think the simple solution is just to format this drive. So I could go to File Explorer, find the drive, there it is, and right click on that, and then click Format. And okay, it's 32 gigabytes, but how do I format the remainder of this? Remember, this is a 256 gigabyte drive, and there's no way here to format the rest of the drive. So how do I do that? Well, what we need to do instead is click here in the search box and just start typing disk management. And before you even finish typing the word, you'll see up here it will say create and format hard disk. So just click on that. And this disk management window will open. You can maximize that. And this program shows you all the drives in your computer and lets you format drives, change drive letters, delete volumes, and much more. So in this interface, you'll see your main computer drive, that's usually drive C, plus any extra drives you may have installed. In this laptop, I have three drives installed, and that's the first three drives you see here, D, E, and then drive C. Now this fourth drive is the USB drive that I need to fix. And by the way, you can see this volume is named ESD-USB. When Microsoft's media creation tool formats a drive, the drive name gets changed to ESD-USB. ESD just stands for Electronic Software Delivery. This box here represents the 32 gigabyte partition that is available for file storage. The one that is actually working is file storage, but over here, is 198 gigabytes of unallocated space. So the space isn't gone forever, it's just in limbo waiting for me to do something with it. So I could right click on this block and then click New Simple Volume and that will show you this wizard here that I can then step through and it shows you how much space is available. I could give it another drive letter, I could make it U for example, assign that and then click Next and I would be able to actually turn this into another drive on this same USB drive. So it would now be split into two separate drives. Now, if that's what you want to do, you can go right ahead and do that. But if you're like most people, you probably just want to have your full drive capacity on a single drive letter. So if that's what you want to do, here's how to do that now. I'll cancel that. Right click on the 32 gigabyte partition and then click delete volume. And you'll see this warning that you're about to delete the partition and you will lose all of your data. So before you do this, make sure you copy any files that you want to save to another drive because we're about to erase this drive. There's no going back. So I'm going to click yes. And after just a few seconds, you can see that 32 gigabyte partition that was our 
usable drive space on this flash drive is now gone. And you can see there's just one giant block of unallocated space. So what we need to do now is just right click and click New Simple Volume. And then we now have this wizard that we can just step through and I'm going to use the entire, this is the maximum size that we could be allocating to a drive. And I'm going to use that entire amount here. Click Next. And I can give it a drive letter. We'll just call it F, that works for me. And click Next. And then you can choose the file system format, either XFAT or NTFS. If you're just using this on a Windows machine, definitely use NTFS. And then we can give it a new volume label. And since this is a PNY drive, I'm going to put that back as it used to say PNY 256 GB. That way when I plug this in, I'll know which drive it is in the future. And then I would advise you to do the quick format. Otherwise, if you turn this off, it could take hours literally to format the drive. So and then I'm going to click Next. And you'll see a summary of what we're about to do here. And then click Finish. And if we wait just a few seconds here, it's uh, formatting this, this unallocated space. We'll see that this becomes available here in just a moment. And there we go. Now you can see it has the name I just gave it, and it's also Drive F. And it says it's a healthy primary partition. So if I go back to File Explorer, and now we should see that PNY drive. There it is right there. If I right-click on that, click Properties, and so now you can see the capacity is 230 gigabytes instead of the 31.9 gigabytes that we saw earlier. And yes, it's not 256 gigabytes as promised to us on the packaging, but that's the way that the storage industry calculates space. Uh, if, you, if you see a number on a drive, it's the actual amount that you're going to see in Windows is going to be something less than that. So we've Essentially, we've gotten back all of our storage space on this drive and we are ready to go use it in full. And that's how you fix a flash drive that's lost its space. That's it for this video. And here's another one I think you will enjoy watching. I'm Fred Kelly, your nerd sidekick. I'll see you on the next video.